So it's a messy business dividing up plants and sometimes when you do divide them and you want to ship them to your sister-in-law or whatever, or if you're moving and you have it in your sale agreement that you can move some of the plants uh, and, uh, and you're following the law in British Columbia, you can actually ship them in fairly hot weather if you follow this method. So you, for this you need a cardboard box, a plastic, big plastic bag, some diapers, and some ice, and water. Uh, I've already watered these plants before I dug them up. It's really hot right now and it's not a good idea to be trying to send divisions or even doing divisions now. It's just too hot for the plants. But little things like asters and yarrow can be, can be shipped easily. So you just saw off a nice looking piece of, of your aster and you've got a, a root of something. It's an aster root actually. And it, it's very simple and very fast. And uh, so you just put a couple of pieces of ice in the bottom of the diaper and uh, pop it in there, Junior. Give it a little pat. Now this is age six, essentially, or age six, age six months. Uh, essentially kind of too big, but that's okay, and I can't, I'm a grandmother now, but I can't remember how to diaper or anything. So I put this thing in here, sitting on its little ice pack, wrap it up. The advantage is it's got this impermeable membrane, and you can then open it up and pour some water in there, and it pretty much stays like that. Now, you can see it's leaking a little bit. That's okay. If you have something like a plastic Ziploc bag or whatever, you can put that in there. But because you're using this heavy duty plastic garbage bag, or it's called a contractor bag actually, they're about 30 bucks for a bag, a box of 30 in your, in your, um, and I won't, I won't, uh, won't trouble you with opening the whole thing. Give it lots of space so you can close it up and just pack your plants in there and you can put them in one on top of the other and uh, and then when you're, I'll do one more here. Asters are tough. One thing I forgot to do in the last one of course was was label it. So you know you want to, you'll remember this, the genera or the species or whatever but you might not re remember if it was the pink one or the the uh, blue one or whatever, so you can write on the outside of it some more ice, larger piece, wrap it up, and like I said, I'm I'm out of I'm out of practice with diapering anything. You don't have to leave the leaves sticking out. But you'll notice when you look at the box, it's got some holes in it for aeration. The ice does not damage the roots. What the, what the ice does is it just gets those roots nice and cold and they go back into a little bit of dormancy. And the water in there just keeps them hydrated. The reason why plants die when they're exposed to the air and it's hot out is they just simply can't get enough nutrients and water across the membrane to stay hydrated. It's all about the water. So that not ice will melt in the first couple of hours or so. Um, oh, right, label. So label it for your sister-in-law. Aster pink. Zone three plant for her. And in it goes. And then when you're finished, loading it, you can pour some more ice into the top and sometimes it's useful to have some shredded um, material like either styrofoam chips or this is just shredded uh, articles it looks like that I wrote when I was a biologist. <gasps> That's all they're good for now. And just close it up. Don't need to be too careful about closing them, like don't use anything too heavy duty. Oops. 
close up the box, duct tape it, label it, and you're done.